Okay, I was actually talking to a guy from Latvia on uh, YouTube there, and he had some questions about the A340E and this Toyota Supra, and they actually use this in the uh, Mark IV Toyota Supras as well. So they're ready for turbo power. They do, however, have their faults. One of them is they don't hold much power over about 400 in the stock form, but you can easily get by that. Uh, one main thing is just upping the vane pressure and uh, giving that all the extra juice in the transmission. It's going to move faster, it's going to push more fluids through, and you're going to lubricate it more. It's going to run cooler. Another one is a big ass oil cooler on the front for your transmission. Go as big as you can find, and a torque converter. And I also did a like triple packing the clutches and stuff just to make the shifts like that, right? But uh, let's see if I can't start this thing up. Come on, baby. Oh, she's a little bit rough on some, sometimes. Okay, but you also want to know about dynoing. And um, from my experience, uh, I think the most dyno places with using this transmission will actually put it in second and just let it rip from there. And as for your question, what these buttons means, ECT, that's actually, uh, I think it stands for like, uh, et cetera, power or whatever. And this just raves your, your rev limit in between shifts. So when you press this, say on the highway, and you downshift it, like you put the gas to the floor, normally you'd only rev till maybe like 6,500 or whatever, but it'll actually go higher with this button press. So, and it does lock off the transmission a little bit more. So it's uh, this is for sporty fun. And uh, this shift lock button, that, that's just in case you get your keys jammed or whatever, you press that and then you can move the shifter around. Oh, my baby, she's so dirty. She's a dirty girl. All right, so uh, here we go. I'm gonna get some gas from this thing. Gas grab her out. So if you're running boost, always have fresh gas. High octane, the highest octane you can find. Around here, I think that's 94. Unless you buy race gas, and then you're talking like over 100. But that's different in the States and in the UK, so let's go get the gas, 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 gas! bucks of freaking premium grade does, eh? Probably not much. Where's the gas gauge? Well, that'll go up in a sec, but for now, yeah, that's 20 bucks. Quarter of a tank. Oh, look at her backfires. Yeah, she's a loud beast. And temperatures are good as usual. So even though the Supra sat for freaking months, uh, yeah, ETTs and stuff are good, and you know temperature is normal. So yeah, took it for a little burn around the back roads there, and she's ready. I just gotta clean up the interior, and uh, one of these days I'll take her to a car show or a race or something. You know. So yeah, as you can see, interior this is 1990, pretty nice, and uh, she's idling and happy and stuff. So just let her cool down, and then I'll, I'll go on with uh, my duties. Alright, so that was maybe a shit show or a super show, I don't know, but thanks for watching and hang in there. Goodbye.